So this is part two of our discussion of Taiwan-China relations. So I want to go through these four points uh, here. That The agreement is that um, the U.S. rejects any use of force to settle the dispute between Taiwan and China. It maintains cultur cultural, commercial, and other ties with Taiwan carried out through the American Institute of Taiwan, AIT. It commits to selling arms to Taiwan for self-defense and will maintain the ability to come to Taiwan's defense while not actually committing to doing so, a policy known as strategic amb ambiguity. So I want to skip down here to could war erupt over Taiwan? A top concern about U.S. analysts is that China's growing military capabilities and assertiveness, as well as the deterioration in cross-strait relations, could spark a conflict. China hasn't ruled out using force to achieve Taiwan's reunification, and the United States hasn't ruled out defending Taiwan if China attacks. Experts disagree about the likelihood and timing of a Chinese invasion. A top U.S. military commander in the Indo-Pacific said it could happen in the next decade, but other experts think that it's farther off. Some believe that 2049 is a cr critical date because that's 100 years from 1949 when Mao Zedong united China. The PLA, the People's Liberation Army, Army has made preparing for Taiwan contingency one of its top priorities, and Taiwan has been a major catalyst for Chinese military modernization. Taiwan likely doesn't have the capabilities to defend against a Chinese attack without external support. So I'm going to skip down here to how has China tried to intimidate Taiwan. China has employed a variety of co coercive tactics short of armed car conflict, and it's ramped up these measures since Ta Tsai Ing-wen's election in 2016. China has increased the frequency and scale patrols, scale of patrols of PLA bombers, fighter jets, and surveillance aircraft over and around uh, Taiwan. So I want to skip down now. How, how has Beijing undermines, undermined Taiwan's democracy? It's ramped up interference in Taiwan's elections. Its method in, includes spreading disinformation on social media. And in the 2020 election, China spread disinformation in an apparent effort to damage Tsai Ing-wen and boost the KMT's presidential candidate. Such efforts are part of China's lar larger strategy of employing coercion to erode trust, in, erode trust in Taiwan's political system and sow divisions in Taiwanese society. So I'm going to skip down here now to do Taiwan people support independence? A small number support immediate independence, according to opinion polls, but fewer express support for the unification of, China, of Taiwan with China. An overwhelming majority reject a one country, two systems model, a sentiment that has grown as Beijing cracks down on Hong Kong's freedoms. I want to skip down here. What is Taiwan's economic situation? Taiwan's economy remains reliant on trade with China, which is the island's largest trading par partner. However, their economic relationship has experienced disruption in recent years, partially due to Beijing's pressure on the island and Taiwanese officials' growing concern about over-reliance on trade in, uh, with China. So I'm going to stop there and we'll continue in the next video.